This is Neil Schneider for MTVS TV. I'm at CES 2011. I'm joined by Andor Pastor, CTO for iPod. Welcome to the program, Andor. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Now, uh, I'm looking here and, you know, one of the big trends this year at CES is we're starting to see auto stereoscopic 3D displays. Maybe you could elaborate a bit as to what we, what we have here. All right, yes. Usually the auto stereoscopic displays are showing pre-recorded content. What we can show here is a three-dimensional media center which uh, has its own menu in, in 3D already, auto stereoscopic uh, uh, 3D. And here we are taking live YouTube uh, contents, uh, stereo contents uh, into our box here and we can stream it live and uh, show it to you how it works to turn the stereo image into an auto stereo image on the fly. Okay, so why don't we talk a little bit about the auto stereoscopic 3D technology itself so we can all appreciate why this is so important. So let's talk about the television first. What can you tell us about the TV? Yeah, the TV what we have here is an auto stereo display with five views which means that uh, we, are, uh, we have five different images on the display which is helping to have the stereo pairs to our eyes and that's why we have the two different uh, images to our, to our eyes and we can see uh, three-dimensional images. The brain understands these two images as three-dimensional if they are put out correctly. Okay, so just so I understand, the reason why we have five images on an auto stereo or glasses-free display is that you could be in different positions around the television and still be able to see in, in 3D, or can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's just rather helping a better depth uh, perception of the brain. It's not really helping the, 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 the viewing uh, area front of the screen. Uh, you can have theoretically, let's say the nine view screens also have uh, roughly the same uh, viewing angle if they are made properly. Our partner from Germany is making very good quality auto stereoscopic screens, which is uh, making it possible to view it uh, over 120 degrees for several people at the same time without glasses. Okay, so now let's go into the challenge. So we're in a world now where we're seeing 3D cinema, we're, seeing, we're starting to see 3D broadcasting, and of course stereoscopic 3D games. How does your technology fit into that? So what, what challenge is there to make this content to work on a screen like this? Uh, yes, there are many challenges to, to face. Uh, basically the biggest pro, uh, challenge, let's say, is that we have two images. And again, it's a, it's a five-view uh, screen. If we would put out straight the two images as they are, it wouldn't make a good picture at all. It would be a massive picture. So we have to solve that problem, organize the pixels properly so the five uh, views uh, display can manage the two signals which are received. So that's what we are managing here real time on the fly. Okay, so what I'm gathering is your, your iPod system takes stereoscopic 3D content and makes it compatible with the auto stereo displays like this. I, yes, exactly. That's what we are doing and I can show you so you, you have a better understanding here. So we can go into a uh, 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 YouTube uh, area. We will just show you how we go over to, this is a standard YouTube uh, surface, what you know back home from your desktop. There is a stereoscopic YouTube video and when it starts playing it just plays like side by side, like back home you can try the same thing. But what we are adding to it is just click of a button and it turns into an auto stereoscopic 3D image viewable with all these people who are watching right now. So actually, we actually do have 3D content. We're not going to show it right now, but we do have 3D content on YouTube through MTVS TV. It's unusual, actually, that we do traditional 2D. For CES special, we did traditional 2D. But nonetheless, so you can actually take MTBS TV content in 3D on YouTube and view it on your display using a system like this. Exactly. So we, we can handle any stereoscopic signals from Blu-ray to IPTVs, connected TVs, uh, YouTube or whatever so sources. So it doesn't matter really to us. We just need to receive the stereo image or even can be interlaced or, or any other formats and we manage the pixels the right way to show it on a on an auto stereoscopic display. Now, do you, do you handle other formats in addition to YouTube? Like, what 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 technologies does does iPod work with? Uh, what we for us what is important is that two images. Other than that, we are not restricted on on anything. Basically, we like to have high resolution as possible, so we like the 1080p contents like this one, and uh, because that's generating the best quality image on this display but uh, it's also possible to go like 720p, it's also a, an okay level of quality. 
Excellent. Now, what are the applications for this? I mean, there's not many auto stereo TVs in the market, and when they're they're available, it's not for consumers. So, where do you see the fit for a technology like this? Uh, we are trying to give now on this CES the hint to everybody that like the technology is here. It's available in concept level. We, as we are a startup company, looking for funds to to make it possible to bring it to the people, to the homes, and that's why we are here to show it. It's it's here. It's not coming five or ten years now. It's here today. It's the it's the present, and that's what people have to understand that they don't have to wear those glasses back home and sit on it. Kids can't wear it and have all these problems. Or, or when you drink beer, have glasses on. I mean, all these things what everybody knows that why they don't like to wear those additional glasses. Uh, uh, that's why we, 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 we present this solution. So this is really working and, and we can bring it to homes hopefully soon if we find the right partners to it. Well, you, you're obviously in tune with the auto stereo market and the displays coming to market. I mean, we've heard about like Toshiba, for example. They're they're hot on the trail on this as well. What time frame do you think we'll start to see before like we see full HD, 1080p, stereoscopic 3D solutions? It basically depends on the big OEMs. I mean, we are ready to partner up with Toshiba as well. We can support their screens. We just need a display like we have this German-made, uh, Tridality-made display here. We can have Toshiba display. We can have LG display. Just put it onto our box and ready to use it's ready to sell of course there are some fine tuning which are required but by the time these these deals would be done the the software would be ready as well well i see a lot of opportunity for the exhibition market i mean for you know if you're going to show 3d films even 3d gaming i mean game developers are taking an active interest in stereoscopic 3d and you know they need a way to demonstrate their games to crowds of people very conveniently and uh, there may do you see a fit for that with something like this Definitely. I mean, we are on the digital signage market already, so we have screens, several screens already running in the Middle East, uh, in airports and some other uh, uh, mall locations, shopping malls. And definitely, exhibitions is also an, a great place for, for, for game makers as well, because, you know, it's gaming, as you're saying, coming in in stereo, a very important uh, market. It's a very much used uh, 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 application at home what people really love to do so I hope you can get them to support with the right speed as well but definitely on exhibitions it's a very g great way to go they can show their stereoscopic uh, 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 promotions on our screens anytime excellent well thanks for joining us we've been talking very much thank you very much you're welcome we've been talking to Andor Pastor CTO for iPont we'll be back with more from CES 2011